Hey, it's me and my sister. Hey. Wait, oh, this is for my YouTube. Say hey, wait, fuck. Hold <laughs> Say wait, hey, fuck. <laughs> okay, hey. This ain't the lighting. Oh, this is okay, not, you had the better good. light, yeah. We're going to the spit. <laughs> you guys, I have a sister. I I'm never, so happy to be here. I never talk about the fact I have a sister, but I feel like I'm, I always do. I want to I want to feel like you guys know I have a sister now. I always talk about I have a sister. I always talk about how funny she is. I how many I feel like I haven't seen you in 2 years genuinely. I feel like we never see each other. Why don't we ever see each other? Cause gen like, cause we don't get along a lot. Okay, so here's the thing. <clears throat> I'm obsessed with Leah. My been my whole life. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, go. I've honestly been obsessed with Leah my whole life. Little sister, I love you. I love you so much. Um, but I'm annoying. I could be annoying. I'm sure like the energy just is like too much. <clears throat> I'm hyper. I'm like a kid. I'm a Pisces. And I'm a Capricorn, but I feel like. I don't know, that doesn't make sense of a Capricorn. Does it make sense of an Aries moon? Yeah. But, I don't know what I'm saying. All I'm saying is, we used to fight all the time because I don't know. Sometimes that happens in life and people don't understand each other and things happen. But we're back. And that's okay. So... Sometimes you have to take some time apart so you can grow, so you can come back together and know how to act. Cause as kids, you are just like, I feel like nobody, nobody taught, nobody how to thinks talk. about the fact that you just grow up and are an adult and you never talked about all the crazy shit as childhood that you like hit your siblings, you fight, you get, and in you guys like were never shit. told to talk about it. It was like go hug. We we weren't. Yeah, so we I weren't. feel like there's like like people don't understand like especially, and I hate to say because I feel like white people could go through this too but i also yeah. feel like there's a difference in black families that difference. nobody will understand like like yeah, about, not, about learning. not talking yeah and not, not learning. learning not growing mm -hmm. yeah and so we are learning to do that and so now we are like able to come together yeah there's a better understanding there's a better communication and like there's a better like tone about it mm -hmm. yeah no but for real it wasn't our parents that did this. It was ourselves. We raised ourselves. So, so there. 100%. But I honestly do feel like dad has a, really had a he big taught us, impact. He did taught us like real shit. Like, like what? Like what? We needed to know about life and reality and who people are. He taught us that. Tell me one thing. I'll list my things and then tell me your biggest things that you learned from dad that stuck with you. And I'll tell you mine. Cause, my, cause mine are like legit. It's like real shit that you should know as a but so pa people, parents don't be dad smart. was not even shy he didn't care our age he spoke sh real shit like i remember and i think you should do that as a parent no for real but like he honestly for real did not care though because sometimes what some things were like okay dad you didn't need to say all that but right like i'm in seventh I'm grade two years old. <laughs> like one time my dad said to me i'm jerking i said we were on yes. the phone and i said what are you doing he said jerking off jerking and, off. But and i said know what jerking and so off i meant. said to my mom mom Dad yeah. said he was jerking off. <laughs> yeah, I remember saying that to mom too, or grandma, or like something like, Dad said he was jerking off. My dad said he was jerking off. Like, I'm telling people this. <laughs> no, one time I told a dad, we went to an all white school, okay, so whatever. One time I told my dad, oh, I think I like this boy. And it was like, his name is Zach or something. <laughs> and he was like, oh, so you like pink dick? Mind you, I'm in second grade. I don't know what the fuck pink dick is. <laughs> And I didn't know for a fucking long time either. <laughs> <laughs> and had to wait a long time to find out. Yeah, yeah, like 28 years. <laughs> so basically, our dad very much was just like, he just, like, I feel like he just real. talked. He, he just talked. Real. He just talked. He, he didn't, didn't care how old like we were. Babies. Yeah. He just was like, and like, we took it. But like, also too, he we took it and us, we learned. Yeah. And also too, like, he taught us just how to be like confident. Like, I feel like, I feel like, like not to take bullshit. Yes. And like, um, and also we know, I never thought I was ugly growing up. I always felt cute. I always knew I was a cute girl. Oh, see, I felt ugly. I only felt ugly because people, my skin, I thought was ugly. I always thought my face was beautiful because everyone always told me I was beautiful. So people like, told me I was beautiful, but I didn't believe it. I felt it. But then I was oh, just okay. like, I felt it immediately. <laughs> Right away, I knew. <laughs> Never questioned it. She said, I'm beautiful, babe. 
baby. Literally never questioned it. I never thought boys liked me just because I was black. 100%. I, I was like, they just think I'm black and that's ugly to them, but I'm still cute. <laughs> I started thinking that like that later on in life. Yeah. Just, yeah. yeah I've always I was known. like, it's just like I'm black. Because I was like, my friends call me cute. My people call me cute. I'm cute. I was like, your oh. dad call me cute. Yeah, exactly. So my like, dad, like, like the school. teachers too. I'm like, they're the digging teacher. on my vibe. So I'm like, it, <laughs> no, it just, it's just, no, the it's teachers be must be really loving us. No, for real, for real, seriously. seriously. It must just be my skin that's ugly. Um, but yeah, but so I bet they wouldn't be talking now though. No. Um. No. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah. So oh my god, what is another thing? That you learn from who? Let's let's do let's do mom. What's one thing you learn from mom? For real, it's tough. Cool. I genuinely don't think one thing. I learned what I not learned to what do. not to do from my mom. <laughs> that's no, that, that's on facts though. No, same, sometimes same. you can learn from pe what people, people not to do. Yes. Because I immediately, as a child, okay, knew okay, I was okay, not okay. gonna be a weak ass bitch. Yes, yes, yes. And I was like, okay, this is what not to do. Okay, exactly. Okay, see, I touched your arm. I know. I I'm like blowing it. I'm really okay. I'm gassed. No, I'm allowed to touch people. I know, but I just can't touch. You guys don't understand. I'm gassed for like a physical touch from her. Okay, so listen. So wait, what was I gonna say? What we learned not to do from mom. Oh, so I learned not to do from my mom to always stand up for what is right and yeah. what you know is right. And yeah. not because she did did not do that. <laughs> she didn't, she didn't stick didn't up for it. what was she didn't. She didn't stick so, up for anything. So it made me know to do that. Yeah. We learned a lot of what not what to do she with her. This? I feel like if my parents No, but my mom, my mom already knows this. I told her this. I feel like I've told her this. I feel like I can openly speak about this shit now. But I have no them. problem. And I'm to already saying it to your face. Like me and her have a good relationship now. She knows. She knows the biz. And I have She learned from me, she said. She learned from us. Period. And I haven't been able to speak to my mom because she just hasn't been able to get on my level yet. But it's okay. But you guys already like you know I've been working through my traumas. And um No, but I did learn I think I a sense of fashion and being like a girl kind of thing from mom. Like she would cry if she heard this. Then I'm like, oh my gosh, she would die. But she did like she was like got weird in the morning, got cute, did her makeup, and I also liked those things too. So yes, yeah, she yeah. did, but I never could get on that routine like that. I, I was like a tomboy at heart. Yeah. Like, so like that's what I like got from my mom is like keeping up and keeping care and keeping yourself like cute. See, I wish I could have picked up on that because I always think like I know my mom does that. Like like I watch my mom get out of the shower and do her whole lotion yeah. stuff. I will never get out of the shower and put I lotion do it on. every day. Like no, I do it every every day. And she was like, Cola, you have this. That reminds me of me, and I'm like, shit. But I am similar to her in a lot of ways. I'm my own breed, I feel. I really don't even know why I fucking. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, learn what not to Get do. Get out ashy, I can't. I <laughs> not be ashy. I won't be I can't ashy be in the summer. I'm not be asked. I'm not gonna be ashy in the summer, but in the winter, yes. Okay, we're gonna go to the Spitzy, and um, should you go to the Spitz with us? I guess. 